Hello guys, this is the last video for chapter uh, 6 of group 17 halogens where we're going to continue to have a look with the reaction of halogen with sodium hydroxide. So another important reaction between halogen uh, is the reaction of halogen and sodium hydroxide under different conditions of reactions. First, we are going to have a look at when chlorine is react with soft sodium hydroxide under different conditions. When chlorine is first added to sodium chloride, when chlorine is first added, when chlorine is first added to cold sodium hydroxide, it will undergo disproportionations to form sodium chloride and sodium hypochlorite. So why do we say that this is a disproportionation reaction? Because oxidation and reduction, ox uh, reduction and oxidation take place simultaneously on the same substance. This mixture, when further heated to 55 degrees Celsius and above, we eventually further disproportionate to become sodium, uh, sodium, uh, sodium perchloride and also sodium chloride. According to the equation, 3 NaClO give NaClO3 plus 2 NaCl. So this is a further disproportionation reaction because uh, oxidation and reduction further carry out for the same NaClO. When chlorine reacted with heated sodium hydroxide, another type of reaction takes place. Chlorine, again, disproportionate to become NaClO3 and also 5-NaCl. So in here, as you can see, so chlorine oxidized and reduced simultaneously. So if you study carefully in between the two different conditions in here, this is actually a combination by using Hess law to get this equation. But all you have to do is just multiply everything of this equation by 3, then eventually you can get these same equations. So please be careful on different conditions that you use to form different products when chlorine reacts with sodium hydroxide. As for bromine and iodine, when added to sodium hydroxide, they will only form one single product. Both will form NaBrO3 and NaBr at the same time. So this is still a disproportionation reaction. And unlike the reaction between chlorine and sodium hydroxide, this reaction is a one-step one way reaction regardless in whatever conditions that you have in here. Okay, So oxidation state changes from 0 to become plus 5 and also negative 1. The last reaction that we are going to have to look is the reaction of the iodide salt with the silver nitrate. So when group 17 halide is treated with silver nitrate, depending on the halide ion, different color of precipitate will form accordingly. So table below summarize the reaction of the group 17 halide and its reaction with silver nitrate, followed with the reaction of ammonia aqueous solutions. So when chloride ion, for example sodium chloride, react with silver nitrate, you form a white precipitate of silver chloride according to this ionic equation. If bromide is used to re replace chloride, you form a cream precipitate of silver bromide. And if iodide ion is replaced to, for, uh, to chloride, you form a yellow precipitate of silver iodide. So this is a diagram that shows you on the three precipitate form, where you can see that this is a white precipitate, this is a creamy precipitate, and this is a yellow precipitate. This silver halide form is further treated with ammonia aqua solutions. So before I continue on, let us observe a video when this sodium chloride, uh, when silver chloride is dissolved in diluted ammonia aqua solutions. So this is what happened when silver chloride is first added to sodium, when silver nitrate is first added to sodium chloride. So in here you can see that this is the white precipitate form. Followed by that, a few drop of ammonia is added to this mixture. As you can see, white precipitate start to dissolve. And when excess ammonia aqua solution is added to the mixture, look at what happens to the precipitate. The precipitate eventually turn to colorless. So this, is due, this can be explained due to the formations of the complex of AgNH3 uh, 2 plus Cl minus. So these are the equations for the reactions. For silver chloride, it can dissolve in both dilute and concentrated ammonia. For silver bromide, 
it can only dissolve in cream precipitate can only dissolve in uh, concentrated ammonia aqueous solutions according to this equation whereas the precipitate will become insoluble when you treat it with dilute ammonia for silver iodide it is insoluble regardless it is concentrated or uh, dilute ammonia aqueous solutions Another very similar reaction, another very similar observation is given of when this halide is reacted with lead salt. So if lead salt is reacted with chloride salt, you still form a white precipitate for silver chloride, uh, for lead chloride. You form a cream precipitate for lead bromide. And you form a yellow precipitate for lead iodide. However, unlike the reactions of silver halide with the ammonia aqueous solution, Lead bromide will not dissolve in excess ammonia aqueous solutions. So there I have for you all the reactions that is important in this chapter and hopefully you'll be able to do a summarized notes on your own. Last but not least, let's have a look at the applications of group 17. Okay, so I just simply, uh, I just directly goes through of what it is important in here. So uh, fluorine is state is not too reactive. So most of the time we use is compound. So hydrofluoric acid is often used to edge cluster turn S class mean to calf class okay uh, it's also used to synthesize creolite which is used to uh, reduce the melting point of the aluminum oxide so hydrogen fluoride is also act as a catalyst in the alkylation of butane to give higher hydrocarbon then it can also be polymerized in the form of tetrafluoroethane to give a teflon PTFE so this PTFE is uh, is especially useful in non-stick frying pan and calcium fluoride is used to, uh, in toothpaste to, uh, to, 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 what? to strengthen the animals. As for chlorine and its compound, so chlorine produced has risen uh, steadily. Uh, one of the most important of chlorine is to make PVC. Hydrogen chloride is also important in sterilizing water and also sewage. And also used to uh, for uh, bleaching the paper. As for bromine, uh, bromine, one of the most important use of the bromine and its compound is in the black and white photography. Uh, first is the anti knock sorry. First is the anti knock of the silver bromide, so it can act as an anti knock which is additive inside the petrol to prevent the formation of the uh, precipitate clock inside the engines. Silver bromide is also used extensively in photography industry, especially in black-white photography. So when white is exposed to silver bromide, an electron known as the photoelectron takes place and therefore uh, give the black and white photography according to the equation where bromide ion when penetrated by UV will form bromine gas, whereas silver ion will eventually accept the electron to form silver. So the overall equation for the reaction is AgBr under UV from Ag plus half Br2. Last but not least, iodine is very commonly used in antiseptic for cuts and also wound. Okay, Iodoform, which is also an antiseptic, uh, but newer compound of iodine are now used. And silver iodide, like silver bromide, is also extensively used in photography industry. With this, I finished the group 17 presentations. So I guess that's all for the video for group 17. See you.